Last week, dramatic news broke over Anfield. Liverpool's former number nine was on cloud nine as Robbie Fowler made a sensational return on a free transfer from Manchester City. The Doc's death terror was back at his spiritual home after a four-year absence. It was the perfect homecoming for the player, affectionately known by his adoring fans as God. I'm absolutely delighted to be back. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like a kid waking up on Christmas morning every day now. It's been fast, uh, fantastic and it's something that I've, um, I've wanted to happen for a long time and um, I'm, I'm glad it, it's come about again. Fowler hasn't been re-signed for sentimental reasons. Manager Rafael Benitez insists this was a deal made with the head rather than the heart. Fowler remains one of the most natural finishers in the game. Still only 30, his credentials speak for themselves. He made his Liverpool debut in 1993 and established himself as one of the most prolific strikers in English football. He's Liverpool's sixth highest scorer in history with 171 goals in 330 games. But after his shock departure to Leeds United in 2001, Fowler struggled to find his best form and injury blighted his spell at Manchester City. A return to Anfield might well revive his career. Ahead of the game against Birmingham, the fans were euphoric. T-shirt, oh, six pounds! Come on, Robbie! <laughs> God is back, come on, Robbie! To commemorate the second coming, the cop faithful have reworded the Lord's Prayer. Ah, Fowler, thou art his scoring. Robbie, be thy name, thy transfer has been done. On a free, as it is in January, give us this day our favourite red. Alonso will give us the best passes as Kara stops those who pass against us. Delivers the title and lead it not into relegation. For 11 is your number, forever and ever, our man. God had to settle for a place on the bench on Wednesday night, much to the disappointment of some fans. But he was sure to get a chance. Birmingham handed a debut to Czech defender Martin Latka, while another defender, Daniel Agger, made his debut for Liverpool. Agger was involved in the major incident of the first half. Damien Johnson saw red on 28 minutes for this tackle on the Danish international. He didn't like the challenge from the moment he saw it, and Damien Johnson is sent off. But it wasn't until 17 minutes into the second half that Liverpool went ahead through captain Steven Gerrard, his seventh league goal of the season. Took a deflection on the way, but Steven Gerrard will claim it. And Liverpool have the breakthrough. Robbie Fowler made his entrance a minute later, greeted by rapturous applause. But even Fowler's presence couldn't stop Birmingham snatching an 88-minute equaliser. Substitute Xavi Alonso chested the ball past his own keeper. Robbie Fowler almost made it a spectacular return. But his overhead kick in stoppage time was ruled out for offside. 1-1 it finished, a valuable point for the Blues. Well, we did it last year and we've, you know, we've, we've been remain unbeaten against them this year again. Of course, we've rode well luck a little bit, but up until, the, up until uh, they're sending off, I thought we were the better team.